Hello guys, this is Bull Cable back with another video and today we are using the spider base again. This is a base that I have made, um, it was probably about 3-4 months ago and we're taking on Hammerman and we're going to be, be able to see if we actually boost this base up and actually see if this base can actually take the, the sheer force of Hammerman. Now as you guys can probably tell by the base design, it's not actually um, designed for winning because there is things at the back there that just do absolutely it's it's just it's just not the best base for doing hammerman but we're going to be seeing how far we can go here that's why i did originally boost this base up and um, we obviously will stroll through the first four stages quite nicely because you can you can actually probably use basically any base and get past stage four when you're when you're when you're actually as leveled up as as I am. Now um, this is actually on 120% speeded up on top of when I actually speed the the gameplay up in game as well. So it's actually going quite fast. That's because we actually do have a lot of hammerman attacks in this video. Um, I do start moving things about later on when things get rough because as you guys can see, this is not obviously going to be a legit base. Um, itself because look, there is machine guns in the back there that are not doing anything. I did originally have to move the base out of the center just because obviously putting the base in the center is just an absolute disaster. You may as well put the base right to the back of the map and that's just a tip for any Hammerman uh, defense. Um, you're going to have to put the, the base at the back. There's no point in putting it any further forward because it just takes that troops a little bit longer to get to there and I've seen my, I've se I think it was, I'm not sure, I... There was one video I recorded with Hammerman, and it literally was on the edge of um, getting destroyed the base, and the time ran out. So if, if the base was that little bit further forward, we would have never got the win there. So here we go here, and it's going pretty smooth so far. It's just because all of the troops get funneled in at the middle straight away, and the two shocks on either side just keep shocking them, which is a very, very nice um, sort of strategy. But um, if we have a lot of things like heavies and tanks coming in, they can get through quite fast, and then you just they start to get well beat down quite quick. Um, as you can see, there is uh, obviously cannons at the back there that don't really do much at all. But um, we do move the base about and see if we can actually finish other higher stages uh, later on. Now. What stage are we on now? We're on stage 6 already. Now you can actually see here, we actually got to stage 6 very fast with um, with the default base basically. But as you can see these um, grenaders are very, are pretty hardcore actually. And we do get, I think we do get pretty wrecked here. But um, obviously then I just start to change things about and start to basically get a, a victory going. Here we go. Heavies rip through the base, and yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it. Um, I think I move the the boom cannons further forward so that the heavies get destroyed quicker. What do I actually do here? I can't remember. Yeah, oh yeah, move the cannons forward. Um, bearing in mind, bearing in mind, remember if I start to put everything closer together, um, that gives a massive advantage towards the grenader side. Because obviously the graders love when things are bunched up, they get a lot of splash damage and they just completely take advantage of that. So, as you can see, blasting through, well not really, well we're basically kind of just making, pulling everything at the front. There's no structure in this, so it is not a, a, a actual base designed for completing Hammerman and I mean you could you could make a base for Hammerman for that Pacific run I mean the, probably the next Hammerman because I really do like making these bases and um, cool bases and cool base designs Um I think I me mentioned in the last video that we were actually um, t I was going to take suggestions in uh, previous um, base builds but I just didn't have time uh, to make them so I think the next one's probably going to maybe maybe be an ice cream base or something like that, which would be pretty cool, I think. I do quite enjoy making them, and I think you guys enjoy watching them as well, just w to basically see how it, how they actually go. Now, um, there is no perfect base for actually defeating Harriman because obviously the troops, it depends on what troops he deploys. If, if he deployed all heavies, 
um, that would be extremely easy because you would just funnel them into one, like you would do, uh, you would funnel them into one and then use two shocks to keep all the the massive group of heavy shocked and then you would just start um, boom canning them out. It would be so easy. That's why a variety of troops is quite hard. I used to think that rifle, riflemen were quite, um, were quite easy but they're not really if you put the boom cannons too far forward that obviously the boom cannons only shooting one rifleman at a time and it it can get really really hard really really fast so as you can see that that base actually works so we actually get to stage seven with them um, this base build and we just go straight in and see if if, if the if the base actually the the base is going to manage to take down stage seven I'm, now, obviously, you don't really know what what order they deploy the troops in first, so you have to just give it a test go. But as you can see, troops just flood in, and it's just an absolute swarm. It's not easy at all, and we just get absolutely wrecked. So the only thing there that I tried to maybe do was move the rockets back because they're getting destroyed too quick. Uh, so we need to move them back so they're at least firing on um, pretty uh, pretty pretty late on and I also move the shocks back a little and I move some of the flamethrowers forward actually no I move the flamethrowers forward with the next one I just realized that the flamethrowers are at the back there and they're doing nothing you need the flamethrowers really pretty much at the start get them riflemen thinned out very fast because they they are a big big problem and um, it's when they mix in with the tanks it gets even more of a problem because you want the boom cannons to target the tanks because they're the highest health troop and um, if they start shooting riflemen you just get a disaster so you really need to take them you really need to take the riflemen out by thinning them out with either rockets or flamethrowers and machine guns um, the, the probably the my actually for Hammerman itself, my probably least favorite defensive building are the machine guns and the mortars. Um, my most favorite. You I mean you ha if you if you don't agree with the 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 best defensive building, um, for Hammerman or anything, it has to be the shock launcher. The shock launcher is a key to any base. It is just a. I remember when the game didn't have shock launchers, and I remember it was so much easier. Just shock launchers are just the best, probably the best. Uh, they they are the best defensive build. If we don't go into prototype modules of uh, prototype defenses, of course, obviously they're going to be better. But and um, that's pretty much it. As you can see, we actually got defeated today. So hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more Wind Beach videos, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.